Hello everybody. Today we are coming to the last session that is session 4 of chapter microbes in human welfare. So today so far what we have learnt is we have studied about microbes in household, microbes in industries like beverages and antibiotics. We have come across different chemicals, bioactive molecules, enzymes plus in last session we had learnt about biogas plant as well as sewage treatment plant. So today we will be learning how microbes can be used as a biocontrol agent. So what do you mean by biocontrol? When it comes to biocontrol, biocontrol means it is using of the microbes for our own benefit to control especially in agricultural field to control the diseases as well as the pests or insects. Initially traditional method what we had followed had no such ways and our crops would be damaged by different pests or insects. But later what had happened was there was use of certain types of chemicals like what we call uh, pesticides, insecticides, weedicides all these were sprayed into the agricultural land. But even though the yield was good there were no pests found but later we did identify that these chemicals are not at all good for our health. Why? Because these chemicals are absorbed by the crop and that can be accumulated in the uh, yield what we consume. It slowly led to the uh, damages to the organs, organ system etc. So nowadays what we are doing is we are tackling these problem with the help of one type of farming that is called organic farming. Now in organic farming we grow the crops without using any of the chemicals. Conventional method is one more type. In this conventional method, we do use the chemicals, but here the chemicals have no restriction. If it destroys the pest hand to hands, it also destroys some of the useful uh, insects or the uh, particular types of larvae. So how can we overcome this conventional method? that is chemicals which are used without damaging the harmless uh, insects. So for this one there was new method introduced using the biotechnology method. Apart from this one there are certain natural predators which can be encouraged in the field. For example if you see ladybird this is a natural predator for pests like aphids and this is a natural predator. One more is dragonfly. This is a natural predator for mosquitoes. These are the natural methods or natural predators which can be encouraged in the crop field so that they can destroy the pests. But they uh, but the problem with this is they restrict or they consume only certain types or certain categories of pest where the rest of pest will be not touched by these natural predators. That is why biotechnological method is now used to produce the plant which has inherited character of resisting the pest as well as diseases. For this purpose mainly the pests which destroy especially the cotton if we take cotton as an example ballworms are the pests which destroy this cotton plant as well as butterfly larvas etc. Apart from this one there are many more types of insects or pests which you will be detailedly learning in biotechnology and its application chapter. So for now you just remember that ballworms, butterfly larvae, these are the basic pests which destroy the crops. To overcome this one using biotechnological method, a particular type of bacteria that is bacillus bacillus thuringiensis, commonly called Bt. So Bacillus thuringiensis is a microbe or a bacteria which we are utilizing here. So what is the action of this Bt over this type of pest? This Bt normally is available commercially also. It can be available in the form of spores. 
these pores are mixed with water and they are sprayed in the agricultural land. Here how will they act on this pest is when the Bt is sprayed on the plant or the crop what happens is they normally incorporate it inside the plant body. So there might be a question in your mind that whether this will damage human organs or organ system while we consume the yield uh, which has been sprayed by this Bt. No, there is no effect for human beings or any of the other organisms which roam around in the agricultural field that is these are very much specific to their target. Once the ball worm or the butterfly larvae feeds on the yield or feeds on the particular plant on which this Bt has been sprayed, what happens is that is engulfed into the uh, insect body. Inside the insect body what happens is in the gut region they normally cause if this is the stomach of the insect they start causing pores here. This pores will lead to the death of the particular insect or pest which has been damaging the crop. But by consuming this crop there is no damage to human beings as well as some of the non-targeted organisms. That is why Bt is now successfully used in cotton as well as brinjal and many more crops. Here there is as there is no use of any chemicals there is no damage to the individual who consumes it, it, it especially insects. So that is how we use microbe that is bacillus thuringiensis as one of the biocontrol agent to destroy the particular pests. Next one that is the second one second biocontrol agent that will be plant treatment. that is using trichoderma. So trichoderma, this is a free living organism which will be incorporated into the root nodule which does not allow any of the plant root causing or plant pathogen to develop inside the plant. Because of presence of this trichoderma, it destroys the root bone pathogen which destroys the plant that is why it is used in plant treatment. Next one is or third biocontrol agent is baculovirus. This has its effect on arthropods especially insects this biocontrol agent that is baculovirus will be utilized. So it helps or especially the example for this is Nucleopolyhydrovirus, nucleo sorry polyhedrovirus. So this is the type of baculovirus which shows its effects on arthropods or insects. So any of the three biocontrol agents what I have spoken so far that is Bt or else trichoderma or baculovirus. These are very much target specific, they do not affect or damage anything else other than the target organisms as well as there is no damage to the particular crop as well as the yield plus the human beings who consume that yield. So in together that is about the particular forms of or types of biocontrol agent. We have studied about natural predators like ladybirds and dragonflies which affect aphids as well as mosquitoes plus three different forms of biocontrol agent that will be one is Bt that is bacillus thuringiensis which is incorporated into the plant in the form of either spores spraying on the plant mixed with water which damages the ball worms, butterfly, insect larva as well as much more pests or insects but without damaging the human being as well as the yield which produced by that particular crop. Uh, second one was for treatment of plant especially for root bone pathogen that was trichoderma and last that is baculovirus nucleopolyhedrovirus. This damages the arthropods that is about the different forms of biocontrol agent. Now we have to study about microbes which are used as biofertilizers. So next is microbes used as biofertilizers.
so what is a bio fertilizer normally the fertilizer is added to the crop or the land so that uh, there it increases the fertility of the soil as well as the nutrient absorption capacity will be increased but here bio fertilizer means here we are using certain types of microbes or microorganisms which help in increasing the fertility as well as absorption of phosphate absorption of nitrogen fixation of nitrogen everything will be increased this bio fertilizers are available commercially also they can straight away be released into the or they can be uh, introduced into the soil directly or some live in symbiosis association what is a symbiotic association symbiosis means where two unrelated organism live peacefully within each other so that there is certain beneficial things now coming to this bio fertilizer first we'll study about rhizobium now here the reason why we are using natural bio fertilizer why not certain chemicalized fertilizer is the fertilizer or chemical fertilizers initially they'll have very good effect on the land as well as the fertility will increase but later year after year passes by what happens is automatically the soil will start to reduce their fertility the plants which are grown in that particular land will fail to absorb the nutrients from the soil that is the reason we have switched on into organic farming using this bio fertilizers when it comes to this rhizobium rhizobium it is a symbiotic association you can see this rhizobium associated with leguminous or leguminous or legume plants where they live in the root nodules and help in fixation of nitrogen as well as increase the fertility and helps in good absorption of nutrients from the soil that is the use of this rhizobium next one is Azobacter Azobacter and Azospirulum so this is a free living bacteria this is not associated with any uh, leguminous plants or any other plants that's why it is called free living here the function is once again fixing of nitrogen as well as it increases the fertility of the soil that is the second form of bio fertilizer next one is mycorrhiza mycorrhiza this which certain types of mycorrhiza which belongs to genus glomus are used as a bio fertilizer so this is a fungi which helps in absorption of phosphates from the soil it increases the fertility of the soil helps in absorption of phosphates especially in higher plants as well as crop plants so that it indirectly provides or directly it provides nutrition to the soil next form is cyanobacteria that will be no stop no stock oscillatoria as well as anabina anabina is one more form so no stock oscillatoria anabinas are the cyanobacteria here these are either free living as well as that is free living in the terrestrial region and few of them are aquatic so these aquatic as well as terrestrial microbes or cyanobacteria helps in absorption or fixing of nitrogen and absorption of the uh, nutrients from the soil as well as in the aquatic medium that is why this acts also as a bio fertilizer last one will be the blue green algae blue green algae has also same amount of effect for absorption as well as fixing of nutrition it also helps in increasing the fertility so in together all of the five forms of microbes will be acting as a bio fertilizer where without using any of the chemicals will be utilizing them for our own benefit 
to improve the fertility of the soil to increase the nutrition absorption as well as to attain higher amount of yield or the quality and quantity of yield increases so that will be rhizobium azobacter azospirulum mycorrhiza cyanobacteria as well as blue green algae so this bio fertilizers uh, will be now available even commercially also which can be purchased and used in the agricultural fields so that is about this chapter microbes in human welfare thank you